Ah, yes, so we're going to level up Cassia. Hi, Ms. Cassia, what are you? You are an... <sighs> I see we're going to have a problem here. I already struggled to get me to do shit and to have you in the same path. No, 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 no. You're going to quickly find your way off my team. I hate to break it to you, but it's true. You're not going to be here for very long. Sorry. As soon as I get a better party member, you're going to go by buzz. Uh, perception of willpower. I think willpower is better. I think. Oh, I'm going to rip you off my team as soon as possible. So I honestly don't care what you take. I don't really know what to do with you. The course untraveled. Whenever the navigator uses a navigator power that hasn't been used this combat, you gain plus two perception. Yippee. How many damage by the navigator? I suppose, do you, even, do you have a special navigator ability? Probably should check that before I got to the screen, but I'm kind of stuck here now. I mean, I'm not, but I am. How many damage by the navigator? Suffer. Additional damage from warp damage. The bonus. Look, that sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Every even turn, the navigator gains additional action point. Every odd turn. It's weird. Every enemy the navigator has in their line of sight. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's not only really reduced by that much. Ah, perception. You know what, love? I changed my mind. We're doing perception. What's perception? There. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you illuminated? Don't care. We're doing perception. And then we go back down to the bottom. For the love of all that's holy, would you scroll? Oh god, what is all this? Oh wow, you have so many navigator blades. Okay, I take back what I said. You can be useful. Just don't use your officer shit and you should be useful. I like that that's a passive. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. There we go. And then I accidentally took blood augury there. I see, I see, I see. Cool. And take perception again. Because why the fuck not? Because then, <laughs> back down, we'll take the passive. We'll look at the other things later. For now, I like this. There's probably a lot of super better things. But I like just the passive. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Navigator path powers. Whatever that is. Deal plus one additional damage for every five bonus characteristic of the navigator's currently equipped staff. I don't know what she has equipped. And if I leave, I lose my level up. Never creature in combat gains an extra turn, then I've got against a stack of will pubs, whatever. Now I'm going to make all resistance tests, yeah. Enemies affected by the navigator's abilities suffer a stacking minus 10 penalty to the next resistance test from the navigator. So I don't know what her abilities are, so it's pretty hard to choose level up abilities for things I don't know what they are. If the navigator's perception is higher than their agility, perception is at 55, agility is at 30, yeah. Uh, the dodge is calculated using perception instead. Nice! I don't actually anticipate you being in combat though, but. Dodge is purely melee, right? Am I misremembering this? Oh, and ranged attacks. Okay, well, that could benefit you. Um. Yeah, that could. Yeah, yeah. I'm expected by the navigator's ability to. No, sorry, we already read that. That, yeah. Whenever the navigator uses a navigator's ability, Val degradation is reduced by minus one. I have yet to figure out what the Val degradation is, so, eh. You heal five wounds at the beginning of every turn and gain one additional wound for every navigator talent taken. The healing... Is this a navigator talent? Is that what you are? Are you a navigator talent? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't create this character. The healing increases by plus one for every creature killed in between the navigator's turns. You know, that sounds pretty cool, but now to heal yourself. I don't, I don't mind that. 
Perilous ways. Enemies moved by the navigator's abilities. Do you move people with your abilities? I have no clue. Whenever an enemy fails a resistance test against your power... Look, I don't know about your abilities are, so I don't want to peg anything related to your abilities. At the end of combat, enemies damaged by the navigator suffer additional plus of damage for all attacks of opportunity and cannot dodge them. Attacks of opportunity. Undam the Sea of Souls. Well, under effect of any navigator power, enemies have their armor reduced. Okay, that could be useful. I said, there's just too many abilities. I'm on the ball. That targeted by the navigator's ability is getting plus up to resist you. Navigator gains five fellowship. Yeah, whatever. Battle of protection. Allies are targeted by them. Look, I don't know what her powers are again. So that's all turns, including extra turns with plus three additional movement points. The first ally targeted each turn by the navigator with a single target ability gains the same amount of additional movement points at the start of the next turn. That's handy if I want to move around the field, but I think I'm still going to stick with what I said I was going to do. I'm going to take eyes of oblivion. Oh my god, how many times was I hit perception before you stack the bloody thing? Thank you. I don't care if you want wisdom. I want perception. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> okay, what do you actually do? You only have one. Okay, Lidless Stare. All creatures in a cone in front of the navigator. Oof, Abelard, hope you get out of the way. Suffer damage. The affected targets must also pass a plus 30 bonus wisdom resistance test that becomes stunned for one turn. Hey, that's nice. Okay, 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 okay. What do you have on you? Uh, staff of House or Celio. It's melee. Uh, super swell. Melee. I love that for you. <sighs> Castigating five. Enemies targeted by the navigator powers gain a minus five penalty to all the characteristics until the end of the navigator's next turn. As much as stacks is renewed every time the same enemy becomes a target. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that's actually not bad for you. Well, you do have that as a backup. No, we won't be using that. Uh, is there anything else I can give you? No, that's probably the best you can have. Oh god, look at your eyes. Though your skin does not match your portrait. Nor does your hair, I might point out. Um, where was I looking? At this here. Warp law. Well, <laughs> you're the only one who excels at that. So maybe you ought to have that. It's probably for the best. Oh, did you already have something in that slot? No, you didn't, right? Yes? No? Yes? Did you have something in that slot? I don't know. Every time the wearer deals damage, the target's weapon skill and ballistic skill is reduced. Pa? Every time you deal damage, the targets. Oh, oh, oh. Argenta? Dear, would you like those? I think they're going to be exceptional in your hands. Okay, so that's all the same. Tech use. Yeah, that's for me, not for you. Logic. Mm, nope. Hit chance and critical hit chance. What have you got? Look, you're never in that space. Take that instead. You're going to look really daft, but it's fine. You'll get over it. I refuse to have myself look any stupider than I already look. Although, actually, I turned my uh, headgear off. Wait, I'm not dogmatic. Never mind. Oh, that's why she was wearing it. She was the only one that could apply to. Maybe yeah, I should put it back on her. 10% of Mechanicus Creations. Cuck, I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm. It's just so hard to take you seriously when you look like that. I'm so sorry. I know I rarely see you, but I just <laughs> look ridiculous. I know I have so many guns here doing absolutely nothing. How did I pick up two staves? Oh, you had one, and then what's his face would have had one. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, what does your stuff do? Ah, uh, it's where your lightning arc comes from. Oh, I absolutely do not want to get rid of that. No, 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 no. Okay. I think we're good. I probably just muffed your entire level up, but what do I know? I know nothing about this game. I've been playing for a few hours and I still know nothing.
But I hope the leveling slows down a little bit. As much as I want uh, like extra abilities, <laughs> I think I'm getting a lot of abilities. A lot of level ups a little too quickly. Dramatic chair turn. Lord Captain, Lady Navigator, welcome aboard. This, is that her, is that Cassia? Hmm. The Sanctum Navis has been prepared for the communion ritual, but if the, oh that's aboard our ship, if the Lady Navigator wishes to rest in her quarters first. Your heart starts beating furiously, your breaths come short and choppy, and your fingertips tingle unpleasantly. I don't know, that looks pretty nice to me. You notice that Vigdis is shivering slightly, and the crew are glancing around in puzzlement, searching for the source of a sudden wave of unease. Without even looking at the Vox Master, Cassia waves her away. First, I wish to speak to the Rogue Trader. Leave us. Of course. When you're ready for the ritual, please let me know. Cassia, we have got to get a handle on your abilities. You seem a little unstable. She's gone. Hurry up. <laughs> Cassia sweeps her pensive gaze over Victus, then lowering her lashes slightly, turns to you. Uh, what do you wish to speak about? After a few seconds hesitation, Cassia lets out a small exhale, then raises her pointed chin. Doesn't look that pointed to me. And more lack of dialogue. Cool. I have not yet thanked you for saving me on the station. My thoughts were clouded with so much mournful ash when Theobald's heart stopped. But you acted honourably and did not exploit me in my wretched position. And for that, I am immeasurably grateful. But now, Cassia throws back her shoulders. I am ready to go to the Sanctum Navis and perform the sacred rite. I require brushes, canvas, and the best paints you have on board, but no red. That is a peculiar request. Why are you asking for these items? Now is not the time to indulge in painting. Oh, as much as I love that response, no, obviously it's for the ritual. Um, tell me more about the ritual entails. Why do you refuse red why do you refuse red paint? It is my habit to use the blood of my attendants so as to preserve my own. However, given the current circumstances, my own will serve even better. The blood of the Navis Noblite is sacred, and so is more suitable for the communion ritual. Well, don't bleed yourself dry. Um, tell me more about what it entails. I doubt the uninitiated could understand the mysteries of navigation while condescending much, but I shall try to explain the essence of it. I must merge my mind and will with the machine spirit of the ship, so that I become one with the vessel. That sounds mightily unpleasant, and I don't wish that on anybody. Cassia lifts a lock of hair from the back of her neck, revealing gilded implant ports. God, who created you? After that, I use the House of Salia ritual, which I am loath to reveal to you, to free my mind of all errant thoughts, and then... Then it is time to open my third eye and peer into the depths of the warp itself. Among the nightmarish visions, mirages, and creatures of the abyss, only the light of the Emperor is the truth that will lead me from star to star, from system to system. Oh, the light. The guiding thread, so fine it can slip from one's grasp at any moment. Cassia unfurls her hand as though dropping something. But you have nothing to worry about. The navigators of House of Salio never lose their course. Okay. Uh, I shall ensure that all the necessary supplies are delivered to the Sanctum Neighbors. Cassie nods and thanks. I shall take my leave of you for the duration of the rite. I ask that you do not follow me. If you can survive the gaze of my war pipe when it is opened. Okay, well I won't follow you to ask questions about your, yourself. Why did we have to flip out? <laughs> what? What was with the 180? Well, Captain, I will oversee the open channel between the Lady Navigator and the bridge. And may the Emperor's Light help us all. So, what is next on the agenda? The Voxcaster and the Navis, Sanctum Navis picks up the susurration of clothes, pious chanting, and the metallic clicking of implants. Then the serene voice of the Lady Navigator breaks the silence, initiating communion ritual. You hear the exultant ring of metal freed from its scabbard. Then, the stifled gasp of the Lady Navigator, the rhythmic drip of liquid on canvas, and the faint whisper of a brush. Why do we need to hear this? Can't you just do the ritual and we get on with it? I'm not, I'm not saying I don't, I'm not interested in the ritual. I'm just saying like, from the perspective of, of the, the rogue trader, being actively on the radio to Cassia as she's like cutting herself up and using her blood to paint. Why couldn't she have done that before she contacted me? It just seems a strange thing to do. I see violet vortexes lashing an ocean with a million flails, and umber shadows spinning over the surface in a fiery dance. A storm rising above foaming waters, armadas drowning in fog. The path from one end to another cannot be seen. 
And here, beyond the wall of glass, a daughter forsaken by her father yearns for her brother, and the son's pale disc goes in tireless pursuit. Of her? No. Of me. Its frozen rays lie that spring is here. The light is deadened. The great ruler is gone. The fox master recalls at Cassie's words and accidentally snaps when the cogitator levers. Bitch, you fix that right now, or we're gonna have a talk. The panel beneath her fingers emits sparks, and the vox cast are full silent. She quickly flips a series of switches and bows guiltily. My abject apologies for cutting off the broadcast, Lord Captain. I have never heard of the warp speaking through a navigator before. The connection is restored now. It will not happen again. Yeah, bloody better not. Foxmaster, see to it that you receive five lashes for the show of clumsiness. What is happening to Cassia? <sighs> Look. I do wish to give a show that I am a noble and somewhat eccentric in nature, but at the same time, alienating my staff by lashing them for something that small is quite inappropriate. So as much as I feel I would like to do the first one, I'm just gonna leave the navigator undisturbed and just continue the ritual. That isn't it. Just leave her. She's got, you know what? I'm going to be ordering here. Soul shredding screams drown out the Vox transmission. The servants in the Sanctum Navis are howling and shrieking like wild beasts, moaning in pain, their throats raw from the strain. My god, Cassie, get a handle on your shit. And then, sudden silence. The dull thought of dropping bodies proclaims their fate. For fuck's sake, Cassia, do I have to lock you in, like, a lead-lined chamber? What are you doing? It, it appears the servants were part of the Lady Navigator's right as it was for her predecessor. I will arrange for the bodies to be removed from the Savis, Sanctum Navis after the ritual, or what is left of them. What kind of society do y'all live in? <sighs> Rogue Trader, I fear I have unfortunate news. Endless blackness is spread across the canvas, dividing what should be whole in two. And my sight cannot glimpse the light of the Emperor as clearly as before, well, that's problematic. I cannot turn around. My brush only draws me onward. The way is blocked. The way is shut, apparently, guys. You hear a heavy exhale, rustling fabric, and metallic clicking. By the Emperor's grace, the ritual was successful. Your vessel's temperament presented a challenge. Its cold steel grip did not allow me to breathe freely even for a second. It was as if the depths of the ship housed not only machine spirits, but something other. Oh, <laughs> you don't even know the half of it, Cassia. Now I will retreat to my chambers to recover my strength. Send for me if you have need for me. Lord Captain, congratulations on acquiring a navigator. Spare me a few moments of your time, please. There are several matters that require your attention. First of all, I want to report on the condition of the station, your Act 5. Had you opted to begin your visit to the Rykad station with a different destination, the station could have become critically unstable. Oh, that's a good point. Would there have been a different outcome if I went elsewhere? First? Fortunately, the decision to immediately visit the representatives of Navis Nobelite bought us precious time. We can either send our forces to disassemble the station and procure technological components for our own vessel, or attempt to save as many valuables as we can. Oh, what do you recommend? I will not stoop to pillaging, abandon the station we are leaving, gather any components that may be useful on the ship, loot everything from jury to the very last manuscript. <sighs> what does that mean? Profit Factor 2. Fuck it, I like to loot. As you command, Lord Captain. Not that I know what a profit factor is. But, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Profit factor is a measure of your status, wealth, and power as a broke trader. It's value, I'm a noble, please. It has to be high. Its value is determined by your trade connections, income of your holdings, treasury, and loans, both to and from you. Oh, you think I'm going to be that generous? <laughs> While traveling, your character will use Profit Factor for buying items and completing colonial projects. Oh, wondrous as well, I got a head start, eh? Profit Factor is not spent on purchases and transactions. Instead, its level determines your ability to conclude trade transactions. Oh, okay. Profit Factor can grow or diminish. Its growth is primarily influenced by major trade deals and it's decreased by investments in colonial projects. Can you get off my screen now? With your permission, I would like also like to remind you that we are still looking for an engine suit. You think? I don't know that. <sighs> Both the vessel and its machine spirits are in desperate need of oversight by an experienced tech priest. We are also missing some crew, and, much more importantly, we have not yet located Heinrichs von Kalox, the right hand of the Lord Inquisitor. Now we know for sure he was not at Urak 8. 8! My god, it's like Urolo 8. <laughs> Well, that was Euro 6, no! <laughs> anyway, Euro 5. So keep us in mind when making any future plans. Why is it always business with you, Victus? Couldn't you sometimes just visit and tell me how wonderful everything is? 
Certainly, Lord Captain. If you were interested, this week passed with a record low rate of minor disturbances on the lower decks. A senior technomat from the Shift 8 came up with a new formula for a lubricant used in kitchen servitor implant maintenance. The Quartermaster of Store Compartment 11 reported recently that we are spending ceremonial decorations at least 20% slower than expected, which means we have enough tablecloths, carpets and lamps to last us 15 years of grand receptions instead of 10. God, we have that much on the vessel? Even considering that some of the stock was burnt during the cultist attack on the vessel. Thank you, Victus. I appreciate you being so quick off the mark to to follow my rather facetious facetious inquiry. Appreciate you. As it pleases you, Lord Captain. I appreciate you. Uh, anyway, I'm. Can we visit you and this unknown destination? Oh, that's right. You're the prison. Oh yeah, that's right. The void ship wasn't the void ship over here previously. Well, I don't have a reason to go there. So I might just go to where I'm supposed to go and we can visit that after that. Just don't go too close to the sun, all right? All righty, scanners required. Visit Riccardi Filia, the prison planetoid. Look, Captain, there is some commotion on the officer's deck. The lady navigator has left her quarters and is currently in the ward room. Ward room? Mm where uninitiated crew members are shunning her in terror. Perhaps you should find out what has brought Cassia to the deck. She couldn't have just, you know, pitched in on the Voxcaster or whatever it's called. Did she really have to leave? I mean, I, I don't mean that she's imprisoned to her chambers, but like there were other methods of communication if it were that important. And if it's not something important, she just wants to get some fresh air. Well, you know, I can't blame her for that. There's no one here. She's fine. Y'all just stop panicking. My Lord Captain, my apologies. I. I did not notice your entrance. That's punishable by death. No, it's fine. It pleases me to see you adjusting to life aboard the ship. Alas, a title alone is not enough to hold everyone's attention all the time. I, I, I did not. <laughs> I'm just playing Please with you. Forgive me this regrettable I'm lapse, sorry. Captain. There are times when books sweep me up and I lose myself in their pages and forget about the world's existence. Was there something you required of me? The events that took place in Urak 5, Mr. Shekin Are you well? Are you satisfied with your new attendance? I hope that you had ample time to calm yourself and... One should not underestimate the navigators of House Orcelio, Lord Captain. Like a shawl of pale smoke, a faint malaise hangs upon my shoulders. But it will not be the slightest hindrance to my duty to humanity. And... My duty to you. That is good to hear, Cassia. Cassia's response is reserved and pointedly decorous, and clearly intended to create a distance between you. Oh, that hurts. Your servants are somewhat sluggish when it comes to attending a noblewoman of the Navis nobility, but they are quite tolerable. Thank you for your concern. Nobility. I apologize. I have been mispronouncing that this entire time. To be fair, I don't remember hearing it in game, so I did what I could with the word presented to me with an E on the end. You could have put the accent above it and I would have been fine. Uh, anyway, sure. Perception test succeeded. Woo, go me, 20 experience. Cassia cringes ever so slightly, adjusts the adornment on her forehead, then awkwardly hides her clawed fingers in the folds of her clothes. The unnatural appearance of navigators often becomes the topic of gossip among lowly servants and officers alike. It is clear that she does not feel comfortable aboard a ship teeming with new people. Yeah, love, get used to it. I hope you've had ample time to calm yourself in your powers. There are people on this ship who are far more impulsive and dangerous to others and far less devoted to the God Emperor than a herald of the Navis Nobility. <laughs> but I did not need your words to see the shades of umber unease that whirl around your subjects whenever I am near. Were I not acquainted with such a reaction, I could have found their behavior in your question just now insulting. I ask you about your mental state if you're okay for your sake not for the sake of others and you attempt to bite my head off lady cassia it seems that i am not the one who needs to learn how to socialize it seems it is you who has the issue uh i see that you're fond of reading she literally just said that but we'll roll with it oh this <laughs> i found this fascinating read on one of the shelves and i must say it has caught my eye it's every chapter is written in verse. 
I find it so beautiful and enrapturing. You've not read poetry before? Oh, that's so sad. Yurak V had a vast archive of its own, of course. Although most of the works within had to do with scholarly disciplines of some sort or another. Only in my sparse moments of respite was I allowed to escape into the pages of more embellished works. Okay. Lord Captain, would you kindly explain to me why you are pestering me with these questions? Inquiring about my mood and my needs, showing an interest in the books I am enjoying? You are behaving as if you possessed a shred of fellow feeling for one such as I. Is that feeling so foreign for you? I beg your pardon, Lord Captain. That was no way for a navigator to conduct herself. You have nothing to apologize before. Human emotions are natural, be they good or bad. And it is just as natural to share them with others. Quite right. So I would ask that you mind what you say from now on. It is indeed difficult for me to feel empathy for a mutant. However, the crew's well-being hinges on that of its navigator. I believe this conversation has reached its natural conclusion. Ugh, look, two is great, but we obviously have to go with one. Please forgive me. I cannot even understand myself right now. Nor can I. Your words and attention have reminded me of life on the station. Of Theobald and Felek. I do not understand. They were merely the keepers of Urak V. So, why do memories of those two make me feel a strange heaviness here? Are you so unfamiliar with the concept of basic kindness? She must be. It must not be a thing that she ever had in her life. It's sad. At the same time, I find myself overwhelmed with new excitement and anticipation. At last, I have set foot outside my familiar walls and into a world that I have only seen before in the pages of books. She's quite childlike at times. Your ship alone is a treasure trove of remarkable artifacts and curiosities. And her naivety and, and And just imagine curiosity. the things that await beyond, but... My delight must seem childish to oh, you, look, shall I? I already called it. <laughs> in your heart, you must be finding all this quite amusing. I, I mean, yes. But that doesn't mean I don't honestly respect you for seeing the wonders of the world as you have never seen them before i like that's i can't fight uh, fault you for that what i find childish is your manner of addressing me as if i were your friend and you must take and believe that anyone here would be interested in hearing about your emotional turmoil <laughs> i understand what you were going through my own life was turned upside down not too long ago that is true not a very noble response but empathy can go a long way i am not in the habit of finding amusement at the expense of my people just remember to keep your emotions in check. Oh, the first part was fine. The second part, not so much. <sighs> Damn it. Damn it. Why do you have to ruin it with that second sentence? I find that I'm not picking many noble options. Indeed. I... I did not know. That is to say, I could not have known. As it is the first time we are speaking in a circumstance so... private. My word. When I found this place, it was so full of officers. Why did they all leave? I do not tolerate idlers on the ship. My officers know it well. Perhaps my people do not wish to disturb you. I'm afraid I must change my duties. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I say the first, is she going to feel like I'm rebuking her for being idle? I'm afraid of the repercussions of her taking that the wrong way. So as much as I want to pick the noble response, I have to pick the other one because I'm afraid of the repercussions. Or... Because my presence offends them. Look, that much is obvious, Cassia. <laughs> Need it be and I said? Must take my leave as well. I am due to inspect the Sanctum Navis after the communion ritual and prepare the chamber for the upcoming warp jump. Thank you for your company. You're welcome. I'm glad we navigated that. <laughs> See what I did there? We navigated that with a, a bit of poise <laughs> and respectability. Because that was super hard. How the hell do I get out of here? There is a door somewhere in this direction. I was promised the door. Where is this goddamn door? Is the door up here? Oh, the door's here. Oh, I'm not on the same orientation as the room. Okay, that makes total sense. May we return to our travels? 
pretty please? The vessel stands ready. Great. Shall we get on with it? Continue on to the prison, please. Please scan. Oh my god, we just- we can't even get there! <sighs> what is it now, Vigdis? 